Katie Chelly from Best Buy Canada's blog and over the past week I have been testing out the Breville 3-in-1 Convection Microwave Oven. This amazing microwave oven doubles as a, a convection oven, a microwave oven and a grill all in one. It has 19 different functions so you can do everything from air fry with the included tray just bake in the oven or grill a steak or cook it from frozen. This 1.1 cubic foot oven has a soft closed door. As I mentioned in my review on Best Buy Canada's blog, there are a lot of different functions on this microwave and it takes you a while to go through them all. That's not to say that it's not easy to use. This is a very easy to use convection oven microwave. So in this case, I was testing it out with some French toast. I uh, put some French toast in my own oven and I put French toast in the Breville oven and I tapped oven instead of using the microwave option using the tray and I let it cook um, for the allotted time. I had uh, kind of tweaked it a little bit for convection and I wasn't using convection in my own oven, but it came out perfectly crisp and it cooked in less time than it did in my own oven. I cooked bacon just by using one of the presets. I put it on a paper towel and it came out perfectly crisp which was really nice. I didn't have to have all the splatter on my stovetop. I softened butter and melted chocolate in the microwave. You can also just tap to tap the popcorn function and it cooks your popcorn perfectly. I like how there's a child lock on this microwave and that you can just tap that to lock it out. Also a keep warm setting that will maintain a low temperature to keep your food warm until you're ready to eat it. All of the functions on this microwave convection oven are available just by tapping or by turning the dials test out the air fry in the Breville 3 in 1 I decided to make french fries. Um, I wasn't going to just make french fries though I was going to make poutine. So to make the french fries in this microwave convection oven all you have to do is turn on the air fry option and it will run you through the steps required to make the french fries. There's actually a little sticker on the inside of the door that tells you how long to cook the fries. First time I made it, I made it with shoestring fries and I think they're a little bit different than the crinkle cut fries. We're just a touch crispier than I would normally cook them, but I thought it was pretty amazing that you could cook french fries in a microwave, so I was happy with the results. Once I had my french fries, all I had to do was add cheese curds and gravy and I had poutine. Poutine was such a hit, I actually went back and did a second batch with crinkle fries and those cooked in the exact amount of time recommended by the microwave and they were crispy and perfect. I made everything from pizza to egg rolls to French toast in this microwave combination microwave convection oven and everything turns out great. Any defrosting that I did there was no overcooked parts on the meat and although I didn't cook from frozen in this microwave I'm confident that if I did it would turn out great. It's an easy to use microwave that has all of the same functions as your range and it's the perfect second oven that just sits neatly on your countertop. You can see my full written review of the Breville 3-in-1 on Best Buy Canada's blog. Thanks for watching.